Well, we're going to be talking about the chest today. So we're continuing our muscle of the month, and it's the pectoralis group. Today we're going to talk about common treatment for chest pectoralis injuries. So let's, let's redefine that, okay? Muscular injuries of the pec major and minor. Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, look back in the video on the anatomy of the pectoralis group to give you an understanding of what we're doing. So one of the first things we like to do is some manual release over the chest. Works very well. Um, the uh, common name is active release uh, techniques or pin and stretch is the uh, common name that's used today, I should say. Uh, it's like Kleenex versus tissue. So uh, let's just call it tissue, so it's called pin and stretch. Um, use a broad-based contract, but again, the pectoralis minor is going to be up and through off these first couple of ribs, shorten the muscle. I use a broad-based contact with my fingertips, drop the elbow down as I stretch the adhesions in front of me. First, you go with the muscle, okay? This seems to work really well to open up the chest and the pectoralis minor. If you wanted to use pin and stretch for the pec major, you come in where it attaches and you follow it with the motion. Seems to work really well. Oftentimes, pin and stretch will lock it down and pull the muscle underneath it as well. But the chest really is important to get that lengthening. Uh, so going with the fibers, I've found to be a bit more effective. What's also really important is that we get up under this pectoralis tendon, okay? Hey, Mike, nice sink. Did you say hi to everybody? Hello, everybody. There he is. There's Mike, the guy. Although Lucas is trying to take your job, but I don't think, I don't, I don't know if he's going to make it, Mike. We'll see. Um, Broad-based contact with my thumb up and underneath. Pin it, and then stretch it down. That gives you a really good authority on both the pectoralis minor and the pectoralis major tendon as it comes into the humerus, okay? And you can really, this is where you can entrap it and stretch it. If you gotta get more authority up by the pectoral tunnel, you, sometimes you gotta come, there you go, right up against the uh, clavicle. And that's a broad-based contact as well, all right? But I find the thumb, opened up works really well. So pin and stretch for the whole chest group works well. The next thing we like to do is some Graston, okay? Uh, or the, let's use the Kleenex term, uh, instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization. So you take your instrument, whatever it is, okay? And then you can work it, the pec major, the pec minor. You can open it up to get a little stretch on it if you want. All done passively. Works really well to break down adhesions, break down knots. The skin will get red. It's a superficial tissue. You don't really have to get that deep bruising. In fact, that very rarely occurs when we do it. Sometimes you have to get different tools so that you can get right up on the tendon. But again, that's the clinical choice to get the tendon, the belly, and the other attachment at the ribs and up in the lower chest as well. Beyond that, we like to add motion. When we add motion, it's uh, a nice technique. So it's grasping with movement or functional assisted movement patterns. Factor, reach up. Mike's gonna do like a chest press. Demonstrate the movement a little bit, Mike. So he's gonna go down to like a chest press we had them pre-set up with the CLX band to give a little resistance. It's not about the amount of resistance, it's just some resistance. And go ahead. Then I go back and I do the same type of instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization while he's doing a functional movement pattern. Now this is a plain chest press, and you can feel how the muscle pops right up, and it gives us really good authority, okay? And you can do the whole muscle group. Then, if it's a functional movement pattern, if it's a truck driver and he's pushing forward to back, you have him do that motion. But it's not about the amount of resistance, it's about adding some resistance. Lastly, if you remember, when we talked about anatomy, the pectoralis fascia 
is in continuity with the abdominal fascia. So uh, the stecco points for the abdominal fascia can also be part of treating a pec issue because that whole fascial chain is involved. All right? So those are the common uh, treatment techniques we use for soft tissue injuries of the pectoralis major and minor. Uh, they're great, they're effective. Once you loosen it up, break down the adhesions, improve the compliance of the muscle, then you got to rehab it and strengthen it. That's the topic of the next video. Hey, it's been a great day to talk rehab. Thanks for tuning in Muscle of the Month. I'm Dr. Donald DeFabio. It's been the Pectoralis Muscle Group. Have a great day.